okay in the last class we had started with bad design we started with bad design now what is this bad design dumping everything into one table dumping everything into one table now if i dump everything into this one table what will happen what will happen if everything product information sales information customer information if every single information is present here while fetching the record it's going to be a bit challenging apart from that you can also see that there are few customers who did not purchase there are few products which was not purchased right now this type of challenges will be there another thing is i know it's santosh i know it's uh, karthik why are you repeating their age address phone number multiple times there is no need right there is no need you it, do, you just mention one time it's enough one table one time is more than enough if you want to track it why are we keep on entering their address or phone number multiple times just because i purchased three times they have mentioned three times my name three times my location three times my phone number which is not needed correct now to overcome this we have a good design which i have taken three different tables one table dedicated only for customers one table dedicated only for product and one is for transaction by doing this we can store specific information with specific table right now as i told even i may call you students but maybe ksr may call you customers because we are running a business right amazon we call you customer bank we call you customer now everywhere you go customer is a customer uh, can you tell me where is uh, which is a place only place where you will not be called as a customer hospital very good hospitals in os hospitals is the only place where you will not be called as a customers in fact you will be called as a patients right okay now as i said customer is a customer you will be part of different customers so i need to mention i need to mention which customer it is is it a bank customer is it a ksr customer is it a uh, amazon customer or a flipkart customer i need to mention this right so similarly product maybe in even even in our case our course is also a product right data engineering could be one product data science could be one product right product is a product maybe we have a different name but to overcome all these challenges what we are doing is we are first taking one we are first taking one database and that database i will call it as amazon database now any any related table with respect to amazon i will put it into this database anything which is related to a flip card maybe i'll create another database anything related to some bank i'll put it another database so like this i will be categorizing it like this i'll be categorizing it and then i'll be creating it okay so this is what we have seen just to give you a recap okay now let's get started let's get started so what i'm going to do now i'm going to open my my sql workbench so yesterday we had installed this now i am opening this welcome to my sql workbench i'm just clicking this and i'm just giving my password and this is where you will have so this is where you can write your code okay this is where you can write a code and this is something which is like a syntax help command which you don't need so here you can write the command here you can uh, get the results and as you see there are so many database which is already in the place like you may not have i have been working with all this database so i may have but you may not have so if you see i have walmart okay i have uh, some retail store i have flipkart right i have all of this okay 
Now, the first thing is I need to create a database. So yesterday we had written our first command. Yesterday we had written a first command. Let's go and write a first command. Now, create database and database name. Okay. So create database, database name. What is the first step? The first step is to create an Amazon database. So to create a database, we have to write create database, database name. And I'll write this as a comment to create database. This is a command. Okay. So the one which I write after this ash symbol, it's basically called comments. So comments is for your understanding. It's for my understanding. Your computer doesn't understand. Your database doesn't understand. Your database doesn't even execute that. Okay. It's a comments. So usually many people will write code. So we will not know who has written that code, right? So we will write some comments. So in your case, we'll write some ash. So when I say ash, it's a comment. Okay. It's understood that we are writing comment. So this is how you need to create a database. Okay. Now, if I go and create this database, it will work. And you will get a successful message also. Create database is successfully executed. Always you should see green color here. The green color says that the code you have written is correct. Okay. Now, I have created one database. If you want, you can create another database also. Database Amazon one. I'll create another database Amazon one. Again, it will create again another database. And if you go here, if you refresh here, you can see that Amazon Amazon one is created. Now I'll create another one. Create database Amazon two. Okay, I'll create another database. I'll select this. Uh, in order to execute it, first you select this. There is something called spark button. The third from here, there is something called a spark button. Just click the spark button and automatically you will see that the code is executed. Now, three databases have created. But what's the use here? I'm going to work with only one. Okay, one database will have different, different tables. But why you need different, different database? Database, you can have like Flipkart, Walmart, Amazon. It's different, different companies. Maybe I can have different database. See, I am I'm a person who's going to work for an organization. I may be working for Amazon. I may be working for Flipkart. I may be working for Walmart. So whichever company I work, I have to install. I have to work with that particular database, right? So all these are database now. So when I create a database, one, two, three, it's creating. Now, by mistake, if I run the code again, if I if I write one, two, three, four, it will work. But if I write one more time, if I run it one more time, now it is throwing error. Now it is throwing error. Okay. So sometimes uh, your SQL errors are so clear. Okay. Now we have got the error, right? Now we have got the error, right? Now you yourself can judge create database database error code 1007 you go and search in google you will get this or it is also telling that cannot create database amazon 2 database already exist what do you understand from this uh won't allow duplicate works yes uh, we will not allow we will not allow database name once you create it what see if you want you create next one okay if you want you create one more okay you create three it will work three or four it will it you create it will work okay it will work but you cannot run the same database again because it is already created right so database names has to be unique once you are created you cannot recreate it Okay, database names should be always unique. So first time if you're creating, it will create. Okay, now I have created this. And for the first time when you're creating, you may not see any of the objects here. I may be seeing different, different objects, but you may be not seeing here. Okay, so let me refresh this and you can see that Amazon, Amazon one, all are there. Okay, uh, when 
uh, in your life also there are two sides, right? Happiness, sadness, right? Positive, negative. So when I can create a database, I can also drop a database. Okay, drop database means I'm not going to work anymore. Whatever is present here, you can please drop it. So the opposite for create is drop. For example, I'm doing for the first time, imagine let's say uh, tomorrow, uh, let's say there is a company, was a company, they're saying that, oh no, we are done, we are going to close. So if we're going to close, they will vanish everything. They'll vanish all the, uh, whatever the data they had, everything they will uh, dispose. So in that case, what they will do, they'll go and delete all the records. So what they'll do, they'll simply go and say, drop table, drop database. And I'm writing Amazon. Okay, so drop database, Amazon. Now it say that drop database done. Then again, I will drop one. So one also I'll drop. So two also I'll drop. If I run one more time, it will throw error. It says that array R, it is not there. Where will I go and drop? First it was dropping, one it dropped. But now again I'm running, it is not dropping. It's saying that, no, I've already dropped, right? Where I have to drop now? It's not there. So this is a information that I can give you here. I will drop it and I'll also drop three. Okay, now I'll also drop, I'll refresh this. Okay, there is another one I'll drop, which I created yesterday. Okay, I drop now. So if you can create, you create it with the create database and in order to drop, you can drop with the drop database. Now this is for to drop database okay you will never ever run this again in your life okay this is a clear cut message for this you will never run drop in your career the reason if you drop it it's gone so for dropping why are you creating it right unless and until you are doing for practice you can drop it but in the real time you will never run this in the real time, you will never run this, okay? Even if you want to really run in your projects, you will not run. The project owners, the project vice president or principals or directors, CEOs, they have the privilege to run, not you. Why? Because if you drop, you know what is going to happen. Entire business is gone. For example, imagine this is a table now. These are tables. This is having product table. This is having customer table. This is have transaction table. By chance, if you go and drop this database, in that database, even if it has 100 tables, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. So you will never run this command again. So I'm just showing as an example. If there is, there's always a flip side, right? So if it's a positive, there should be negative. So positive was we are able to create a database. Negative is we can also remove the database. Okay. Now, um, if you have to create a database, it has to follow the same syntax. Okay, just because it's like looks like a normal English, you cannot go and say that instead of create, don't go and say implement database Amazon. It will not work. It will not work. Okay, don't ask me why. Don't ask me why your SQL is syntax oriented, syntax based. Okay, so if you say syntax based, you have to give the proper words only. To create a database, it is create. So create and implement both are synonyms, both have same meaning. meaning. That doesn't mean that I'll go and give implement, it will not work. Okay, uh, you know, every session, every time when I talk about the syntax, right, I always give this example. Let me give the same example to you as well. You are going in a highway or you're going in anywhere in the city. Okay. You're driving a car and suddenly there is a signal. Okay. Traffic signal and you're going there and suddenly you see a red color signal there, red color signal and you immediately stop. Have you ever thought why it is always red color? It could have been blue. It could have been gray. It could have been brown. It could have been violet. Why it is always red? Okay, let me do one thing. 
next to the zebra crossing, there is a traffic police. So let's go and ask him why it is red and why not other colors. Have you ever asked this? Have you ever asked this? Have you ever asked this? No. Why? Because it is the way it is. Yes, very good. It is the way it is. They have already designed this. This is called protocol. This is called rules and regulation. This is called some restrictions. You have to use that. You have to use it. There is no other go. If there is a red, you have to stop it. So these are all called protocols. Maybe 50 years back only they have decided red means you have to stop. Green means you have to go and move. So you cannot change the colors. Neither you can go and ask them. You cannot go and ask them. You can never go and ask a traffic police why you have decided red to be stopped and green to move. No, it's rules and regulation. Right? So similarly, if you want to know why create is working, why implement is not working, they have already designed. They've already designed. Okay. In English, in English, we call it as water. Okay. In Hindi, we call it as Pani. In Kannada, we call it as Niru. In Tamil, anyone? Any Tamil guys here? What do you call for Tanni. what do you call? Tanni. Tanni. What do you call for Telugu? Tanni. In Telugu? Niru. 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 Tanni. All these are words. Niru. All these are words for our understanding only. But who has created this? The guys who have created this language have created this. There is no other meaning. Water is water. Niru is Niru. Right? Pani is Pani. So that means they have already defined. It's a language. It's a language they have already defined. This, this word has to be there. Similarly, in database also, we want to write some language. All the commands which I have written is actually language which language sql for sql whatever you see the blue color whatever the see the blue color not this blue color whatever you see this blue color this blue color is actually called the keywords you have to write the proper keywords only if you don't use a proper keywords even if you're just making a small mistake even if you make a small mistake it will not work Okay, be careful when you're writing. It's a syntax base. It's a protocol base. It's very easy. It's a one line command, but you have to make sure you don't do any typo mistakes and you don't um, like uh, use any other words. It is all called keywords. You have to use a keywords. So something which is coming in the blue color, we call it as keywords. That keywords has to be mentioned if you want to work. Okay, now. Fine. This will not work. This will not work. Because it's not a keyword. Okay. Now, I will create one database again. So, the database which I will create is, if you see here, there is no database with Amazon. Okay. So, I have created and I have dropped it. So, let's create one database create database amazon see whatever you have seen amazon amazon one is all example but in the real time in the real time we always suffix with something called db okay we all always uh, suffix with called db db stands for database okay db stands for database okay so it's actually create so create database database name so always remember you have to follow some standards. Most of the companies and the projects which I have also worked, we always maintain some suffix. Amazon DB. DB means stands for database. It's known to be database. So some understanding should be there, right? See, I, I can tell you this one. It can be database name also. It can be table name also. It can be anything. But how do you differentiate? In order to differentiate between the table name, database name, we always give some standard. And if you see most of the cases which I've done, all the database names will be DB, 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 DB. Okay, most of them are DB. DB stands for database. Okay, now I'll create this database. Perfect. Now, for rest of 19 days, 
that we have in our SQL, we are going to use only this data base. Okay. Now, this is for creating. Now, let's see in this particular database, how many tables are there? In this particular database, let's see how many tables are there. These are all called tables. So, to see the tables, to see the tables, present in particular particular database okay the command that we have to write is very easy i have to write something called show tables i have to write something called show tables and if you see both are blue color both are keywords now if i go and write this show tables i am actually getting lot of tables which I don't know who created it. Okay. But you know what? The data, the tables which is coming, it's not from the Amazon actually. It's not from the Amazon. It is somewhere coming from C SQL uh, KSR underscore SQL. That means last night, last night, just before sleeping, I was actually working for one of the project in KSR. So, I had activated that database. So, that database is active. In that particular database, how many tables are there? That is what it is showing. You can clearly see, I simply run the command show tables. But it is showing specifically tables in KSR SQL. That means it is not showing the tables which are just now I created. It is showing in some other database. Why? Why? And for that, the reason is last night before sleeping, I was working for KSR project. That time I had activated the database. You can activate only one database at a time. You can work only in one project at a time. Either you are working for Amazon or you're working for Flipkart or you're working for KSR only one at a time. So just like that, you can have only one database active. Now in this, which database is active? Clearly it is understood that your KSR SQL is active. How do you guess that KSR SQL is active? Very simple. It is in bold. Rest of the things are not bold, but your KSR SQL isn't bold. So it's understood that there is some other database which is active. Now, how to make your database active now? You are just now created, right? You are just now created, right? So let's see how to activate. Activate database. In order to activate your database, you have to run a command called use Amazon DB. So I'm saying, boss, you've already created Amazon DB. You've already created Amazon DB, but something else is in use. I want to use this now. I want to use this now. So going forward, unless and until I move on to different database, you have to please use this database because for the next 19 days, you are going to work on this project. So I have to use something called use database name. And it says that it is also used tick mark. Now you can see that which one is highlighted. The one database which you created two minutes back, this is getting highlighted. That means this is a database. Now it is active now. Okay, fine. Agree. Now let me go and write show tables. Why we don't have any tables here? Because we didn't create that. Database no only. Table. Just two minutes no back table. we created. Database only. We just two minutes back we created. Where it will have tables. Okay. So database just now only we created. Where is the tables? So we don't have any tables. This is a brand new database okay so how to make it active very simple you have to go and write use database okay uh, santosh uh, i have a doubt is the semicolon is important to put after semicolon uh... is to differentiate the lines okay at this point of time even if you don't write it will work but semicolon tells that the semicolons why i'm writing in caps everything i'll give a reason 
okay why i'm writing only in caps why i'm writing semicolon why i'm writing different different and everything i'll give you a reason at this point of time semicolon is the end of the statement end of one code that is what it is known for okay yes it is required so that it is it is 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 uh, telling the system right boss this is the one line of code okay why are i i'm writing in caps i'll tell you now at this point of time i am writing this use database so use database what happened it started making this as an active you can use another database also use let's say flipkart db okay so i'm making flipkart db so i'm making this as a active now now you see this i think there is a spelling mistake okay there is a spelling mistake actually f i l p i had given so that's why it's not working now if i go here now see flipkart is used in the flipkart now this has become active now uh, somewhere two three months back i had created this now if i go and write show tables maybe there also we don't have so ideally which database you have to work you can decide how do you decide we can use a use command we can use a use command so we can use this or we can use this your wish now let's go on to amazon now so let me use this and in this particular database if i want to see the tables i can go and write show tables as of now we don't have it okay as of now we don't have it so show tables is not giving any result because just now only i created this next step is to create this table so we don't have it okay now if you feel like bit uh difficult to go and see which one is highlighted which one is not highlighted if you feel difficult there is another command to see to see which database is active to see which database active you can use something called select database okay you can write select database if you go and see most of the select if i write right it will go and display it so if i write select database we can see which database is active now so if i go and see the database which is active is amazon db you can either see here with a highlighted but what if i have 100 or thousands database i cannot keep on scrolling right i cannot keep on scrolling and see which one is highlighted or which one is bold so i can write the line number 18 line number 18 means select database means it will tell you which database is active at that point of time so either you go and see bold or you can write this one okay so totally how many commands we have learned now this is for show tables to see it and this one which is to activate the database and this one dropping the database and to create the database so totally we have learned five commands okay so create database database name drop database database name to activate it it is used to see the tables it is show tables and to uh, to see which database active it is select database well successfully we have learned this five commands you may may not using in the real time but at least you have to know how to get this okay now okay we have got all the basic information now the next step is our next step is to go and see the table okay to go and have the table okay now listen carefully listen carefully we are going to create our first table now we are going to create our first table now how to create first table i'll tell you to create a database we have written create database right to create a database we have written create database similarly to create a table i will go and create create table just like line number 18 i am writing line number 25 which is now i am creating a table now in which database i have to create it i have to make sure it is created in this database only i can create here i can create here i can create here then what is the purpose i am working for amazon now so please make sure that we always use this database before usage okay we have to use now create table so every single person on this planet earth will have a name okay 
whether you are a pet whether you are animal whether you are a human whether you are a thing whatever may be you will have a name similarly for table also you have to give one name the name i am going to give you is i will take customer table customer table but i can just give customer but as i said we have to follow some standards right after this course you are going to show some experience on your resume and then you are going to search your job so it is recommended that you follow some standards what i follow in my project every table name i will be suffixed with tb okay tb tb stands for table db stands for database this is how i understand this is how i use my in my projects so let's do that okay now create table table name create database database name here create table table name so here i have to write one bracket and i have to close one bracket and i have to write semicolon now within this open bracket and close bracket within this open bracket and close bracket i need to define the structure structure of the table okay so this is a structure of the table this is a structure of the table forget about the names forget about the names so this is the structure of the table this is the structure of the table so what is the structure the table has four columns customer name customer age customer location customer phone number this is the structure so let's create the structure so what i will do i will write customer name customer age customer age customer location customer phone number okay um actually it's a uh, going beyond the screen right i don't like this so i will write it in the next line the, okay i'll write it in the next line but it will still consider as a single command only it will still consider as a single command only the reason is i have not written in every line semicolon if i write semicolon like this is wrong okay so i have understood that the semicolon is written in the end so all 25 to 30 will be considered as a one query that is one code okay please do understand all this 25 to 30 all five lines we are going to consider it as one single sql code you may be asking hey you are writing different line that's fine i am still writing semicolon so it will start from this and it will see where it is semicolon so this will become one piece of code okay now i am creating a table how to create it very simple create table table name in this table name what are the columns you have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 okay now here what should be the name name can be like santosh name can be like rajiv okay name can be like anand but name cannot be like 1 2 3 4 okay okay name cannot be like 1 2 3 4 now this is wrong okay this is wrong so now if you see this 1 2 3 4 it cannot be name so that means i am actually giving i'm actually giving this one as some string or some characters right so i'll simply go and say this has to be this has to be the values which i am going to store within this i will call it as character i will go and get store it as character okay it's a character it is not number it cannot be number it cannot be number it has to be character only so i am telling in this particular column what type of values i can go and store that is what i am saying right in this particular column what type of values i can store i can store something called string value okay now let's talk about phone number or let's talk about age what is your age 25 what is your age 26 what is your age 27 like this but have you ever seen anyone writing like this 
Have you ever seen anyone writing 25? No. So in this particular column, I am storing a number actually, not the string, not the character. So I am telling in which column, what type of values can store. So this last line cannot happen. Your name cannot be number and your age cannot be character. Similarly, you also, it cannot have number. It cannot have character like this. There are some values that I need to store it, right? So this is self-understandable. So I need to tell what type of values I'm going to store, right? So let's come back here. Okay, name can be character. Name can be character. What is your age? Uh, age has to be number. I'll give integer. Now, location. Location means what we can give? We can give Bangalore. So, again, it is character. Phone number. Phone number has to be. Your phone number cannot be like 7, uh, 9, 1. You cannot do like this. It should be 7, 8, 9. It should be like this. Correct? So, this also should be number. So, I'm saying number. Okay, so first what I did, create table, table name. I open the bracket, I close the bracket. In between, what is the structure? Structure is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I've given the column names, exact column names. For that column names, what I need? The data type. There is another special class only for data types. Okay, so don't think too much at this point of time. Today, our main objective is to create a table. Today, our main objective is to create a table. So, we are creating only the table here. We are not focusing something else here. Okay. So, all this you can ignore for now. There is another special class, only dedicated class for data types. We will see there. At this point of time, just focus on creating a table. Okay. Now, here, name is there, right? Name is there, right? What name you can give? Name you can give as big as possible, right? Like... You can keep on giving like this. You can keep on giving like this, right? Ideally, it should not be this much of big. Ideally, it should not be this much of big. So what I will do, I will give, you can give maximum of 20 characters. So any name, as long as it is 20, I'm okay. 21 means I don't want to give. Because you cannot give a lengthy name. You cannot include your uh, I mean, father name, surname, ancestor's name, initials, middle name. Uh, you cannot have more. It looks very odd. It looks very odd. See here how looks it looks. So I cannot do like this, right? I need to have a proper limitation. So for that, what I've done, I have just given. This is my word. My name is eight characters, five characters, five characters. And this one is four characters. Okay, so it's fine. All this will be stored here. Why? Because I'm giving maximum of 20. So similarly for location also, for Bangalore it is 8 characters or 9 characters. Here also I can give, let me give maybe 25. Okay, if someone is entering the address, maybe 25. Okay, this is fine. For integer, no need to mention. Integer is an integer. Okay, I cannot say your age has to be 5, your age has to be 50. I have not seen. So I will ignore this. Okay. That is all the syntax for creating a table. This is all creating a syntax. Okay, but still I'm getting some error. And the error is, this is a column name. This is a data type. Column name, data type. Column name, data type. Column name, data type. And in order to have a, a, a separator between this column and this column, you have to write one comma. You have to write one comma. You have to write one comma. Now, my table is giving no error. There is no need to write in the last one comma. Unless and until you go and add another new column, this comma is not required. Okay, so this is a table. So let's go and run all five. All five, I'll select it. There is a spark button you see on the screen. Just click the spark button. Create table is created. Now you go and write show tables. You will see the first table that has been created. In this particular database, we have created a first table, customer table. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. I repeat one more time. I repeat one more time. Create table, table name. 
column name, column name, column name, column name. What type of values I need to store that is called data type. This is a 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 data type. OK, now I have created one table. Let's go and create another table. Let's go and create another table, which is called product table. Now it is easy. See, create table product. I will always suffix with TB open bracket. Then I will write product name. Product name. OK, and I'll put it in the next line and the next line. I'll take product MRP. I'll take product MRP. Then I will close it. Then I'll put semicolon. But I need to tell what type of values I'm going to store. So this is going to be character. Let's say around 30. And this one I'll say it is an integer. OK, the price will be in the form of integer, but still I'm getting error. Why? Because these two are different columns. I need to have one separator. I'll put one comma. That's all. This is one table. OK, but you can also write like this also. You can write like this also in one line. Also, you can write so and as long as you write a semicolon, it is not considered as the end of the statement here. I'm writing semicolon means that entire table will be considered, but it's not that clear, right? So that is why I'm writing in two different lines. This I'll put it here. This I'll put here. That's all. OK, so as long as I write a semicolon, it's considered as one single statement. So it doesn't matter whether you write it in one line or you write it in three lines. Doesn't matter. Once you select it, now you go and click this. You'll be able to see this. And now you can see that the table is created or not. You can see the message here. Product table is also created. Now let's go and see the show tables and successfully we have created two tables today and the tables we have created is customer table and product table. OK, now. This is fine. Now I need to see, right? I need to see this table. I need to see whether it is created properly or not. I need to go and see. So to see the table, to see the table and the content of the table, you have to write something called select star from customer table. OK, so if I write select star from customer table, you will clearly see what is there in the table. Now this table has four columns, customer name, customer age, customer location and customer phone number. OK, so this. Table as customer name, customer age, customer location, customer phone number without data. Without data. Data we don't have uh, today. We created a database. We created a table table only structure is created. Now I want to see the product data also. I want to see product table. Very simple. Select. Star. From. Product. Table. This is a product table. So I have created like this. And I'm seeing like this to so see the table and the content of the table. Remember this line number 39 or 40. This we are going to use very often in our real time because we have to see the content. We have to see the content. OK, so what we have experimented today, we created a tape. We created a database. We created a database today. And once we create a database, we also dropped it. And we also dropped it and we use the database in case there are many database and if you want to use it, we will use it and to see the tables that is associated with that particular database. We can write show database and if you don't want to see here as a bold, but I want to show which database is active. You can always write select database and to two important commands that we have created today is how to create tables. Very simple create table table name column name column data type column name column data type column name column data type column name column data type. Don't worry about data types now. We'll cover that in the later part. But as of now we have the. Column data type and I need to have a separator since everything I can write it in one line also right comma was necessary. So this is how we have created a. Tables. And to see the content very simple. Select star from customer table. What is the star? 
I'll explain it later. But at this point of time, this is the only command to see the content of the table. Are we good till now? Yes, Santosh. Yes, yes, Santosh. Okay. So if you are actually dropping a database, that is also possible to drop the table. You can also drop the table. For that, drop table, table name. Here you are dropping database, here you are dropping table. Suppose I don't like this table, I want to drop it, I can easily go and drop the customer table. See, customer table is dropped. Now you go and see select start from customer table. This table itself is dropped. Where I can go and see the content, it will not work. It will say table does not exist. Amazon DB dot customer TV does not exist. And you can also not see in the show tables also you will not see because I dropped it, right? I dropped it. So there is always a flip side. You create it, you can drop it. So you can drop the database also. You can drop the table also. So in case if I drop the database, all three tables will be dropped. If this database has 100 tables, all 100 tables will be dropped. But specifically, if you're dropping this, only this will be dropped. So this is dropping a table and this is dropping a database. Both are very risky. Don't run it. This is only for the explanation purpose. Okay. Suppose I did some mistake. Okay, fine. I can drop only that particular table. Okay. I have done uh, mistakes in all the tables. Don't worry. We have a drop database command. We can run the drop database command. Okay. So there is always a flip side whether you can create it or whether you can drop it. Okay. Now, finally, we have the structure now. I'll recreate it now. I dropped it, right? So let me recreate it. So create it. So let me go and now show tables. You will have two tables that is getting created. Okay. Now let's let me go and see. This is there. Okay. Now, next thing. Structure is there. What is next thing? The next thing is data. How to insert the data? Santosh. H location phone number this is what i need to insert okay so i'm inserting a record into the table how to do that very simple commands okay this is to insert data into table right now this table is blank empty okay right now this table is empty nothing is there so I have to insert a data into the table. How to insert? Very easy. We already have a predefined syntax that we need to follow. Insert into which table you are inserting. Are you inserting to this table or are you inserting into this table? I will insert into this table and I will go and enter values. Values. What are the values? First one I need to give is I need to give the name. Santosh. Okay, second one I need to give is put one comma. Second one I need to give age. I'll give age. Next I need to give location. I'll give Bangalore. Next I need to give phone number. Phone number. Then I will close this. Then I'll put one semicolon. Now this is all about your inserting records. Okay, this is all about inserting records now. Now, you may be observing, for one value, I have given quotes. For one value, I have not given quotes. Okay, that means for this name, I have given quotes. For this one, I did not give quotes. For this one, I have given quotes. And for this one, I have not given quotes. Now, what I have done is, wherever there is a text or the character which I am entering, wherever I am entering the character-based data type, that has to be given in the quotes. If you don't give quotes here, it will not work. It will not work. Okay? It will not work. It will not insert. The one which I am entering within the quotes, it is actually a, a string. It is a text. So always be sure of, if you are entering any value, string value, you have to put it in quotes. This is number not required. For number, it is not required. Okay? Now, now it's your wish. It's your wish. If you want to give double quotes, you give double quotes. If you want to give single quotes, you give single quotes. No one is ever stopping you. 
no one is ever stopping you if you want to give double quotes if you want to give single quotes i'm completely okay your complete sequel is also okay but what is not okay i'll tell you what is not okay i'll tell you you'll start with double quotes and you'll end with single quote this i'm not going to allow this is strictly prohibited okay if you give double okay you give double i don't care you give single okay you give single i don't care but don't be naughty one side you give one uh, single quotes and one side you give double quotes i am not going to accept this okay not only me any database will not accept okay so here you can decide whether you want to give one or whether you want to give two okay now what will happen i'll tell you santosh will go and sit here 31 will go and sit here location will go and sit here phone number will go and sit here okay let's run it hmm successfully the first insert has been happened now let me go and show the table successfully the first person record has been inserted the first person record is getting inserted okay so successfully i have entered this person now let's say second person vijay vijay age 30 location chennai phone number like this now i want to enter this okay uh, to save some time i will copy paste it you don't copy paste it while you are practicing you have to write again so insert into table this time instead of vijay instead of santosh it's going to be vijay instead of 31 it is going to be 30 instead of chennai it's instead of bangalore it's going to be chennai and instead of this phone number, I'll have this phone number. Okay. Now, I will run only this command and I'll go and enter this. That is also getting inserted. Now, I'll go and enter this. Successfully, there are two records which is inserted. Now, this is how I can insert the record. Okay. So far, we are good. Now, let's go third person. Let's go third person. Let's say Hema. Hema is a girl. Uh, usually, there is a saying, right? Um, I don't know whether you people know it. I have heard in my culture, I have heard this. I'm from South India. So, I have heard this culture, okay? You should never ask man's salary. You should never ask woman's age. Is it there in your culture as well? Yes, I agree, Santosh. Right? You can never ask a man's age, a man's salary because it insults them. Similarly, you cannot ask girls' age. It's 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 actually, uh, this is what happens in our culture. I don't know about your culture. South Indians will have this. But I don't know whether in North or in your uh, US, you can all. So this Ema is not interested to give her age. She's not interested to give her age. Okay. So she is not interested to give her age. So what we can do, okay, let's go with Pune and let's go with phone number. She is not interested to give the age. Okay, fine, not a problem. So I'll write it, insert into customer table values. Hema. Hema will go and sit here. And our age. Come on. I'm not interested to give my age. Okay. Then she'll give Pune. And she'll give phone number. Okay. Now I'm entering. Hmm. Now is where your table will get confused. If I give this one, it was going and sitting here. The second one was going and sitting here. The third one was going and sitting here. The fourth one was going and sitting here. But now Hema has a problem. She don't want to share the age. So Hema will go and sit here. But if I go and run this, it will throw an error. It is clearly telling, it is clearly telling what is an error is 
what is the error is column count does not match with a value count here i have given only three values okay values have given only three values but your column has four val four columns so it doesn't know where to go and save okay your ama will go and sit here actually age should have been here but there is no age pune will come here but it will not go number will go here so everything will be misplaced everything will be misplaced see i cannot go and force ama to give age hey I am not able to enter into my database. I am not able to enter into my table. You have to give a table name. I cannot do that. I cannot give that. I cannot say you have to give age. No, I cannot do that. But whatever I have, I can proceed with that. So what I am doing here, she is not giving. I cannot force her. I need to find a way to tackle this. I need to find a way to tackle this. Is this clear? yes okay how to tackle this how to tackle this okay there is another person who again creates some issue okay let's take another person let's say we'll take somia she gives age she does not give location she does not give phone number now what i can do i cannot go and ask her okay i cannot go and ask her so i have to make sure I have to still enter. So in that case, what I can do? To tackle all this, we have to go with another approach. Okay. So how to get the approach? See, for example, uh, you are going to a movie theater. Okay. There are a lot, lot of suites. A uh, lot of seats are there. So you go and sit it. Even if your person next to you is not coming in, you still leave a space for him and you go to the next place because we are going to give you something called seat number. We are going to give something called seat number. So the same seat number concepts I will use here. And I will tell you, please go and sit here. Okay. So how to handle this? Okay. How to handle this? This is throwing error. Because I am giving three values. But your table has four values, four columns. So it is throwing error. Okay, so what I am doing now, what I am doing, I will insert the same thing, but just before the values, I will also mention the column names. Customer name, customer location, and customer phone number. Then I'll put here. Now what will happen? If I don't mention anything here, it will directly go and insert one, two, three, four. But here the AMI is not giving the age. So because of that, there is a, some misplace. So what I am going to give, boss, you enter AMA Pune and this number, but you please enter AMA into this column. You please enter Pune into this column and you please enter this number into this column. She is not giving age. So let's ignore the age. Now if I run it, it will work. It will work. I'm clearly telling like a seat number. I'm telling boss, please enter Ama into this column. Please enter Pune into this location. And please enter this phone number here. And line number 46 was not working because they have not given one value. I cannot force them, but I've written line number 47. Now, if you can go and say, doesn't matter if she is not giving, no problem. I will go and store it as empty. I'll go and store it as empty. Now, you may ask me, how did that null came here? And how did exactly the Pune went into location? How did exactly the phone number went into that location? How, how it went? It is a clear cut understanding because I have given the direction. This has to go here. This has to go here. This has to go here. If you have all the values, we can use 45, 46, 44, 45, 46. If you specifically want certain values to be entered into a specific column, we can use something called 47. In 47, what I'm doing after the table name, I'm mentioning what is the column names that you need to insert. And after values, I have written the value here. Is that clear? 
Yes. Yes, Santosh. Okay. Now tell me, this completes our today's session. We have learned, we have learned, create a database, drop a database, use database, show tables, and we have created a table, and we have also inserted the records. Successfully, we have covered this much. Is it difficult? No. I have no, no Santosh. Every class will go like this. Every class will go like this. Okay, it's very easy. Just you need to understand the concepts. Every loop and horn I'll cover. Like what happens if they're not giving age and address? What happens if they give age? What in case uh, tomorrow, today I'm 31. Tomorrow I'm becoming 32. How to update it? Tomorrow I'm, I'm going to Mumbai. How to update it? All this we'll see in the next few classes. Okay, so this completes today's session. And this also completes our free sessions of this batch okay we are promised that you can become data engineer in 100 days and today is a fifth class that we have completed the first five days was given as a free session to get some grip and understanding about the subject from tomorrow onwards we will be having paid session okay from tomorrow you'll not be getting the link only the registered people will be able to attend the class and what we have covered it's an actual syllabus only from tomorrow the sixth class, which is going to be the paid class, will continue from where we had stopped. Okay, I repeat, the course is for 100 days. SQL, Python, Big Data, PySpark, Azure is what we are going to learn. In the next 100 classes, you will become a data engineer and you can show maximum of five years of experience after learning this course that's the quality we maintain it goes to four and a half to five months and once you learn we will be doing two to three projects as well which will give you some good hands-on experience and you can apply as a data engineer to your companies but from tomorrow it's going to be a paid session classes will be there from only from monday to friday 7 o'clock to 8.15 or 8.30 in future. But Saturday and Sunday is completely for your off-time discussion, doubts, assignments. In case if you need any help, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, if you want to visit our institute, you can always do it on Saturday and Sunday. We all will be there to guide you. And in case if any class in between is getting uh, missed, we can compensate over the weekends. Uh, this is the plan. And the fees will be 27000 for the entire course, which will include all the modules, SQL, Python, PySpark, Big Data, Azure, and also you'll get one-on-one -on -one mentorship, uh, resume preparation. You'll have a lot of, we'll have some demo sessions. We'll have some guest lecture sessions that we'll be organizing it. Uh, apart from subject, we are organizing a lot of other things. For everything, you will be eligible. Okay, every single class is also getting recorded. Even if you miss one or two days, don't worry you'll still get the recordings. Recordings will be valid for one year. Any more questions? Uh, Santosh, the team will be available uh, at till what time today? You're, you're talking about our team? Yeah, yeah. Our for team, the payment. Uh, so our team usually works uh, 8 to 8. Okay. So you can always reach out to our team here. Okay. Uh, you can go to contact us. So we work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you can mm -hmm. call to us on these numbers. You can also WhatsApp us. Whatever it is feasible for you, you can reach us. Okay. Even, oh, okay, okay. Monday to Saturday, right? Okay, fine. I saw that. Thank you. I mean, Saturday, Sunday also we are, uh, Sundays also we are available. But uh, uh -huh. Sundays, unless and until if there is anything important, you can reach out to us. Okay. After uh, the, the subscription, like... Uh, we have we will have a different whatsapp group or something group like that yeah or? once once you get registered maybe now you have been part of different different groups right maybe you would have uh -huh. got this link from linkedin instagram or whatsapp or some community group but once you register this group we will be having a one dedicated group where i will be there Mahesh will be there. Mentors will be there. If you face any questions or if, you, well, well, let's say like uh, somewhere in the evening time, you're practicing something and you're stuck somewhere and you don't know, like, let's say how to insert. For example, this uh, is getting error, right? You're, you're not able to get insert and if you're not able to figure out, take a snap, 
send it in the whatsapp group if you need a immediate assistance if you need an immediate assistance either one of them will reply mentors will reply or other students who are practice will reply or definitely i will reply every single day i will go through each and every message for that particular maybe you'll get a delayed response from me uh, because i'll be a bit packed with other meetings and other sessions but apart from that if i'm free definitely i'll respond to you in whatsapp or if you feel like asking in the class the next day when you join the live class, you can first five, 10 minutes, you can ask the question. And after I complete the course, uh, one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, again, you can ask your questions. That's how your question and answer can be resolved. Uh, so thank you, Santosh. But uh, apart from this online uh, video classes, will we able to get any PDF, something like for the course? See, uh, self study. 90 percent of oral classes is practicals only, right? What notes you will get here? See, there's a code I'm writing. Okay, I opened an editor. In front of you, I'm writing a code. So 90% of classes will be coding only, right? Live yes. coding. Wherever there is a document, like we have a interview questions, we have some important questions, we have some real-time use cases, data sets, uh, what data sets I'm using, installation files, all this I will share. But PPT is the only one thing we will not share. Okay, Santosh. Uh, hi, Santosh. Any projects will be covered during the course? Yeah, we'll be covering two use cases, real-time use cases, and we'll be covering two unique projects. Uh, depending on the domain, uh, towards the end, we will choose two projects. Uh, that we will do once we learn about 80, 85 classes. Once we complete it, we'll be doing the two projects. Okay, thank you. Hi, Santosh. Yes. Will you be the tutor for the whole like whole course? Uh, for this particular batch, for this particular time, I'll be the trainer. But we do have oh. uh, other trainers as well, which happens in different different timings. But this particular batch, if I have started, I will end it. Like Pi Spark Hadoop. Yes, everything. yes. Every module, I'll be the trainer. Okay, and I have a couple of questions. Can I ask? Now? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, I felt it would be better if you explain with the architecture so that like we get to know about the overall process, how it works from starting to the end, and then uh, the tools used in between. Like, uh, come, like for example, a, a diagram, a block diagram kind of thing. Did you attend all the five classes? Uh, I watched demo. Like, in the first two I classes, was recording, recording, yeah, sorry, in the yeah. first two classes, I would have explained what is that we are going to follow, what is a roadmap, what tools we are going to cover, everything I've explained. For this insert statement, create statement, what is the architecture needed? Right? Not required. Uh, but no, when no, we come into the project, me. when we come into the project, when we come into the complex projects, everything will be like a explained with a whiteboard. Okay, we have an online whiteboard where that is where we use it. Okay, to give you a clear uh understanding at this point of time maybe we did not get anything like an architecture related one okay but if i want to show you this is how we maintain okay so this is how we maintain every single topic this is the architecture you can see yeah this is, this is uh, what we are explaining is like i just want to know how everything is really interrelated to each other Oh, that, that's what I said, right? First, we will be learning SQL. Okay, first, we'll be learning SQL. First thing is, you'll be learning SQL. Then you'll be learning Python. Then you'll have some, uh, SQL is for communicating within the database. Python is for communicating with the other tools. Then we have a problem. The data is getting bigger and bigger. For that, we have a solution, Hadoop and Spark. And everything we are going to do it in the cloud. And for cloud also, we are going to choose one. And once you learn all this, connect the dots. First, we are focusing okay. on the language. Once you learn the language, then we'll see what is the challenge that we have, what is the solution for that. And finally, we are going to solve it with the end to end. That's how we can directly if I day explain on the day one, this is how it works. See, directly if I show you this, directly if I show you this, okay, this is what we have. Okay, this is what we have, architecture. If I go and show this, it's it's very difficult to understand, right? 
it's very difficult to understand. If, if I show you this, what you will understand. So this is the architecture. This is what we are going to build a project. But day one, I cannot tell you. For that, you need two languages. Once you know language only, then you can go inside the subject. So that's how the okay. classes will go on. First, we are focusing on the language. As I said, first we'll focusing on the SQL, then we'll focus on the Python, then followed by others. Okay. And uh, do we have assessments after each and every module? Yes. Okay. We will be having uh, the assign assessment assignment, and um, we'll giving we'll be giving some homework. We'll ask you to research. We'll do all of this because I've been oh. doing data engineering for ten years. I cannot explain it in four to five months, right? So you also <laughs> should practice. You should also put some efforts. So that's how yeah. it goes. Okay. So will you be teaching uh, data lakes, uh, like data warehouse, everything in depth, or yes. just the basics? Uh, this is not a basic course to be uh, upfront, the course you're learning from KSR is worth of five years of experience. And that's why we're teaching for four and a half to five months. I can teach it in one day, but that's not going to help you, right? The quality we maintain is we you will be showing your experience as five years. For five years, what are the things you need? Every single point will be covered here. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yes, Hello, this is what. Yes. Ganya. Good. Yeah, hi Santosh. We know this side. Yeah. Uh, just want to know, like, uh, regarding the interviews when we finish this course. After that, like, interview questions or interview related stuff will be discussed in the group, in this in these classes. And second question is like. Uh, like when we are uh, completing one topic or another, another topic like SQL and Python, after that, the certification related uh, help will be done, like any information like which certification will be beneficial at See, the end of the course. For yes, person. definitely. Yes, uh, we will be helping you with all the details. And in fact, once you complete this course, uh, we will be also helping you to have some mock interviews, mentor guidance. For example, you don't know. Uh, imagine that you're working in uh, some non IT and you don't know how much of experience I can put, what type of projects you can put. So you will not know. Right. So what we are going to do is we are going to talk to you. OK, we are going to understand what is your background. Depending on that, we'll prepare resumes and give you. That is one thing. So uh, mock interviews, everything will happen. And to answer your question on the the other one certification as and then your cro uh, course progress, right? I'll also tell you which certification you can take. And once you complete this course, you can easily clear it. You can easily clear it. We, our course will also help you to. Clear your certification. Okay, thank you, Santosh. Yeah, hi, Santosh. This is Vasu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shall we learn anything before uh, learning Python? Like yes. any coding language is required, like C, 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 B, like that. I must say. This is enough. Whatever I'm teaching, everything will be from scratch. Okay, so there is no fundamentals for us, Python. No. Whatever I'm uh, teaching now, everything is from scratch only. Either it's a SQL or a Python, we're teaching everything from scratch. So even if you don't um, like, uh, even if you don't know anything, what you've understood for the last five days, you'll understand for the next 95 days. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey, Santosh, uh, uh, Ravi here. Mm -hmm. So just a quick question, uh, not in regards to the subject or anything, but uh, do we have any payment portals available in the website? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, please. Okay, first, uh, this is our website. Okay, ksrdatavision.com is our website. Um, if you don't have a sign up, please create a free sign up. That is a free account and I have an account. So I'll log in directly. So once I log in, just give me a minute. Caps is on. Okay. Once you go here, uh, you can go to the. See, uh, every live class, it will show you here. Okay, for example, today's session was 7 o'clock, right? So 7 o'clock, it's showing. So it will show jo join here. So tomorrow's session or the next session for today, it's still not started. 
it is still not started. For example, let's say this is my next class. So it's still not started. Once I open it, you will be able to see whatever the course has been mapped today, you'll be able to see here. This is about this. And now if you go to the calendar, your calendar also will show you uh, your batch particular timing. You'll get a notification. Everything will happen weekly basis, daily basis, everything you will be having this built in calendar. And uh, if you go to my purchase, you will see what are the courses you have purchased or we can do one thing. We can go for explore courses. In the explore courses, you will see all the free sessions here. Not only data engineering, we deal with all the data related courses and we have Java as well. So we cover most of the uh, like high skilled in the market. So these are all the free sessions. You'll also be having the trainers and you can always go here and get the first five sessions for free. Any course you take in KSR, it's free. Now let's go for upcoming course. In the upcoming course, this is what we have planned. And this is one thing which you have uh, have here. So please go to the page session. And you click this. OK, so this is a course that you have to opt for. Click this. And you can directly buy. So this is a data engineering course. Uh, the fees will be 27,000. And uh, if you are paying uh, like an installment, you will have 999. But if you are opting for one time payment, a KSR can give you a discount of 2000. So one time payment, you will get around 25,000. But if you want to pay with the installments, you can go and buy 27,000, whatever you wish. You can go and buy here. You can uh, pay and it will take you to the payment. Or if you're looking for installments, like installment one, 10, 10, 10. If it's a one time payment, sorry, if, if it's a three time payments, it's 30,000. If it's a one time payments, it's 27,000. That's the option. If you go for two installments, you can pay 14,500, 14,500. So the actual course, the actual course, I'll tell you the fees is. If you're paying one time, you'll get 3000 discount. OK, so if you're opting for two times. If you're opting for two times, so 14.5. Plus 14.5. OK, so you'll get around 1K discount. Now, if you're opting for three installments, like you say that, OK, I get a monthly salary, I have to pay 10K, 10K, 10K. In that case, you can opt for this one as well. Every month you can pay 10, 10K, which is completely your option. You can, de you can decide based on this. This is basically three installments, which will not have any discounts. OK, if you need more details, you have a contact details here. Please go and talk to our team. This is a fee structure. Clear? Any I, questions? Uh, may I know uh, where, where can we get uh, recordings? Recordings will be there here. If you go <coughs> here, okay, if you go to the course, <laughs> And uh, you already been tagged to certain course, right? So for example, let's say that you have been part of, you go to my purchase, sorry, my course. In the my course, okay, imagine there is a course like this. Okay, in this class, if you see all this are the classes, go for class recording. Okay, in this particular class, let's say I, this is an old batch. Let me take any new batch. OK, let's say this one. OK, this I'll take this batch now and this batch I'll take class recording. And I'll go and search by this year so you'll get all this. You can also search by topic names. So all this are which we have covered, you can view the recording. In case if the class is canceled, we will have the canceled. But if you want recordings, you can go and see it. For example, this is a recording. Okay, if I go and click this recording. And you can play it. These are all the recording sessions. Yeah, thank you. Of course, of course it's a different course, but uh, you can uh, watch it. This validity will be for almost like one year. Are we good? Hi, Santosh Kirti here. Yes. 
so uh, my question is let's say uh, i do the full payment mm. can i view the course from last time like because i just want to go to the azure side so i wanted to see the recordings can i do that so you want to see the last recording what do you mean i mean previous uh, your previous course recording or something which is already done no that you have to talk to our team but i would say that uh, every day watching 3 4 videos will not help you this is a bit tough subject so slow and steady is what we believe in if you really want to go with a uh, high phase you can talk to our team and you can get the old batch recordings that you can talk to our team okay okay sure are we good any other questions on payment subject topic timings anyone hi santosh priya here go ahead Hello. yeah i have a career break of 7 years i learned power bi and i'm looking for a job for past 3 months i haven't got any so is it advisable for me to join this course like to learn data engineering with power bi see and, uh, uh, and you guys be helping in preparing resume too right 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 see mm -hmm. uh power bi is added advantage okay if you mm -hmm. know data science data engineering or data analytics if you're knowing two out of three it's always going to be an advantage in fact i work with both i work as a data analyst i work as a data engineer so i can tell you upfront definitely you will be in demand if you are applying for companies because having two skills is what companies are also looking for so since also you come from a a, a career background knowing multiple skills will definitely help you so maybe uh, i'm not sure if you are looking for a power bi role and you're not getting calls and you're choosing here but um for data analyst the next step is to always to learn data engineering because uh, while doing the data analysis you know what is the challenges you're getting data is not clean we have to keep on chasing the other teams but here you need to change you are going to work for the data engineering side as well so it's highly recommended if you already know data analytics you can also go with this so but how will i portray of... my resume like how will i sell myself as a analyst or uh, like i have to combine both and that is what we are going to help you in the end okay. we will uh, understand your background and we'll see uh, we will also test you with the mock interviews we'll test which skill you are highly confident so let's say 8 mm -hmm. years of experience we'll say 4 years in data science uh, data engineering 4 years in analytics or if you're very strong in analytics well, let's make 5 years in analytics 3 no, years in data engineering i'll just learn power no whatever it is i'm just giving an example right i'm just giving an okay. example we are understand your background we don't want mm -hmm. to open up here uh, because it's a session that is happening between everyone so we don't want okay. to open up what is your background but we will have mm -hmm. a mentoring session where we'll understand each one of your role depending on that we will help you how to put portrait in the resume okay oh thank you thank you santosh uh santosh a quick question before we end it uh, don't want to waste your time so uh so pre pre predominantly i'm looking i'm in the job market in the us all right uh, so yeah in the data engineering roles they're looking even at uh, power bi all right so there's all uh, i i know there's a course uh, starting up soon for power bi so if you take up this course would there be any discount or any and i mean so you're looking for both both the courses here yeah. yeah definitely you will get discount uh, talk to all our right. team on one on one so they'll mm -hmm. uh, they'll uh, help you with the uh, price uh, ideally yeah. this is 27000 that is 30000 in that case mm -hmm. uh, there could be a uh, almost 57000 but it can, can talk to our team our, top, our team will definitely you uh, consider you and i mm -hmm. we understand the us market as well us market is quite different there they look for multi skilled so mm -hmm. definitely you'll get benefits call to our team our team can guide you i got you thank you okay if you don't have any questions we'll stop here tomorrow will be page sessions if you still have any questions yeah we have the number displayed on the screen so just go dial it get your result and prepare it again go back research about other institutes see the quality see the syllabus see about data engineering and then take a call we are not forcing you to join here we have done our job of giving you the demo now you have to take your call you have to decide so we are not asking you to join here you see the quality you see the training you see the syllabus you see you go you review everywhere 
and then you can take a call. It's your hard earned money. Just want, don't want you to take a decision right away. Research, explore, and then take a call. Okay. So with that, we'll stop here. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you. Santosh, can I have a moment? So yeah, Naresh, you can ask me, Naresh. I am there to help you. Sun yeah, sir. tell me, Naresh. No, I want to talk with Santosh. Tell me, yeah. Santosh, I am in US, US right now. I have, okay. I have graduated recently. Currently, I am on my initial OPT. So, is it a good choice to go with data See, engineering? Uh, what definitely, do you suggest? Yeah, definitely, Mayesh will be the right person to answer this, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Naresh, you are going with any vendor or else you want to market yourself, your resume? Yes, sir. Uh, right now, I haven't joined any consultancy. Even they won't allow also in the right now till the elections are completed. So they're not giving opportunities. Previously, it's a going, they will opt you and they will give in a guest house and they are taking care of everything. But now situation is mm -hmm. not that good. But uh, marketing wise, uh, compared to the H1B people, OPT, EAD and GC people are getting better opportunities in now, like on a full time. So this technically, uh, data engineering will help you to get the better calls. But marketing, you have to do your own. Okay. For that, we can help you with your LinkedIn and like how actively you have to be there in LinkedIn and making your resume and everything. We will take care about that. Okay. Yeah. So, but a H1B uh, till might be uh, till the November results. Uh, H1B currently it's not that so good, honestly. Yeah, I'm in OPT, not H1B. Yeah, that's what. Uh, uh, EAD people, GC, and uh, even OPT guys also getting opportunities. But again, it's a lot many things is there showing experience and that. So if you have any better experience in India, we can showcase that experience. Companies, they're expecting around uh, minimum five years experience, right? Yeah. So obviously, you know how market is going there. So how they are managing everything, you have idea and already, right? So you guys will suggest me how to do marketing? Yes, I can suggest. Okay. LinkedIn, Costa. mostly LinkedIn and there is some other websites like Dicey. So we Dice, can guide you yeah. like how to update and how actively you have to be applied. Okay. So we will be contact you. Uh, what is your name? Oh, Mahesh. Okay. Mahesh, so, so... right? Okay. Yeah. So can you can you send your number, Mahesh, once? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, nine nine. Okay. One six nine six. Uh huh. One two three four. Can you come okay. again, Arash? I'm Sorry. texting here. It's a Mahesh. Double nine one six nine six. One two three four. Double nine. One six nine six. One six nine six. One two three four. Okay. Yeah. So if maybe I'm not able to pick for sure, I will call you back. If you am in any other meeting, I may be not able to pick, but for sure I will call you back uh, by end of the day. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Magesh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So any other questions, guys, related to your marketing and skill wise, and also uh, just explaining again, what are the course we are teaching here for India or US? It's a sufficient from Azure data in point of view, but now in a market, companies are expecting multi skills. Maybe they may expect AWS, they may expect a snowflake, and they are expecting nowadays CI CD pipelines and deployment also. Those skill set, maybe we are also planning to make it as an self-paced for topics because each topic around 10 hours. Once you know Azure Data Engineering, just AWS concept we need to be at. Our Snowflake concepts we need to be at. AWS and Snowflake, we do have. GCP, uh, maybe I'm planning to make it as an self-paced very shortly because if you want to take it, everything in the live, it may go for one year. So it depends on the market requirement. Once you got a job, it depends on your internal requirements. Maybe you can opt for the additional subjects. It's like an as a um, uh, top ups. Even we are also in a, uh, discussing to add the CICD pipelines also as an self paced topic around the 10 hours content may come. So by end of your course, we will implement all these things. Mahesh, uh, after completion of the course, uh, Azure certification is mandatory for applying jobs. Uh, not a mandatory to be frank, but you, if you want to make your resume looks like a more uh, decent or something, we can add a certification, but it's not a big deal. Uh, in India, I won't even suggest, but in US, if you are looking, maybe you can take a certification. <clears throat> yeah. Just to decorate your resume, 
and a few clients they will expect like we need a certification guys only only at that time but you initial time companies won't expect like our mandatory as a dp203 before that we can do some uh, free certification from microsoft we have like we can give a try for that understood guys thank you because it's in india around 5000 we need to spend there it's almost 150 dollars i guess in us so not mandatory But clients calls, oh, they will expect clients interviews, few companies, they will expect we need people who are holding a certification. At that time, company will spend for that. And with our course, you can able to clear easily their DP203. And during this uh, next 15 days only, Santosh That's will make good. you people to clear your hacker rank test. In another 15, 20 days, hardly. You can able to crack a hacker rank. It is also just to showcase like as an one addition certification. It's a free. Yeah. Uh, sorry, something someone saying. You can ask me. Uh, yeah, it's actually the network of fabric is the new thing to come in for all patches of this data factory and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, is, it, is it the added advantage? So fabric is a, just a cloud environment. It's not in a course. Even we are taking fabric topic under Power Bay people. So how Power Bay will work under fabric environment? How data science will work under fabric environment? This is actually fabric to be. It's not like in a technically one subject. It's in a one leg, right? So... Hardly Santosh will take that one session. How fabric under fabric environment we can use a data engineering concepts. It's not a big deal. Hardly one or two lectures we can finish it up. That's what we are not teaching. Uh, nowadays they are expecting it's again DevOps concepts. So we are hiring for another mentor to take as an a request self based video. So live class in the sense now only this course is going to be happened almost four and a half months. If I want to teach AWS, uh, GCP, CACD pipelines, uh, it may go for one year. Yeah, okay. So CACD pipelines, and these are as a, adding as a top-ups. Uh, I'm planning to hire another mentor uh, like, uh, to take as a self-paced sessions. We will add you that. You can buy those to concepts. We will plan like uh, the pricing. And, uh, I'm sure it's not more than 2000 or 3000 for each. We will make it as a, much as less. Yeah, okay. thank you. Only that is related to data, not entire DevOps concepts, uh, the CACD pipeline, some Kubernetes are uh, these kind of concepts that uh, deployment concepts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Same way, once you completed this course, adding AWS, hardly another 15 to 20 lectures. Adding GCP, another 15 to 20 lectures. Yeah. So any questions, guys? So, uh, Mahesh, you said even Snowflake with AWS also you're planning to do self-paced. It's already right? going on. Uh, already we have a batch. Uh, next batch we are planning in this month end. AWS with Yeah, but I saw the timing is clashing with this. Oh, ah, so. that is a different trainer. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying if, I, if I'm yeah, taking If you this want course, to opt both at a time better, once this course is completed, you can opt or else you can go with the record videos of AWS and join Azure Engineering. Because daily spending three hours only to sit in the live classes, honestly saying it's not possible. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what, but in I saw the course, uh, I mean the uh, topics, but I just want the, it has SQL even basic. And Python right? almost the same, 99% yeah. same concept. You are going to yeah. learn additionally AWS, Snowflake, Snowpark, DBT. Yeah, so I want only that part. Yeah, yeah, you can learn those. That's fine. So nowadays, Metilin also some people are expecting, even I am planning to that to make as a self-paced. Like, uh, so now companies are expecting in a software uh, company, not an employee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're expecting multi-skills from one guy. So we have yeah, to they want like this. dozen skills at a time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I so wanted to take that course also, yeah, but sure. uh, Snowflake it's around uh, similar like 18 to 20 lectures, for example, not saying like months wise uh, lectures and the AWS also similar way and DBT hardly five lectures. So, all yeah, yeah, but if I want to enroll to 
that yeah, sure, sure, like how will can. i pay like uh, payment yeah, we will discuss uh, because uh, okay. you no need to take that again sql and python right for sure we can negotiate on the price we'll discuss okay so how to approach for that like I yeah we have our team members mm -hmm. contacts right you can approach them once first join azure data engineering and aws because time clashing right you can go with the mm -hmm. uh, recorded lessons okay okay yeah. and even will... this also i actually i wanted the recorded because i already okay like, if i yeah, want even in that way also it's a fine um we can connect with our team but a recorded videos i'm not able to help you with the making resume and doubts clarification i'm not able to add in the group so it's not possible uh it's a kind of self-paced oh, okay. yeah yeah i group. mean mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah i got that but i just wanted to yeah sure sure like you can finally watch okay yeah got it yeah okay sure yeah. thank you thank you Uh, Mayesh, is Snowflake covered in this course? No. Or no? No, no, no. Okay. It's Azure Data Engineering. We have a Snowflake Data Engineering as a separate course. It's again four months duration. So uh, we Mahesh. are going to learn their SQL, again, Python, uh, AWS, Snowflake, Snowpark, and DBT. Those concepts we are going to learn there. Mahesh, we know this side. Uh, my question is like, right, I just I'll enroll for this course. But apart from this, suppose if I want to learn Power BI concept along with the. Uh, uh, yes, you can learn those service. also. Like a Power BI, uh, we have a next batch in the morning, 8 o'clock actually. Uh, 29th onwards, we are starting. If you want to join live, still it might be 20 to 15 minutes, maybe it's in a clash, but you can join there. Anyway, those also starting with the SQL initially after 20 days or uh, maybe in the October, November, you can plan for that. But in case if I want to opt for the recording, recorded sessions. Yeah, recording only, sessions, so you can buy at uh, 18K with the license actually. Complete course, SQL, Power BI and Azure as a combination. But uh, Azure, I don't think you need. SQL also not required. Only Power BI concepts we can negotiate on that. There we need to provide the Power BI premium license. Like we know that KSR.com, you are going to get an email ID in that way. Okay. So, and this this thing uh, applies to the fabric also. Like if I. Uh... Yeah, fabric is just environment, hardly five lectures. Like uh, how data analytics is going to be work under fabric environment. Okay. Yeah, fabric is a cloud actually. Uh, under cloud premises, in future, maybe there is no power bay desktop. We need to work under fabric. And power apps also will be covered in this? That's a different course again. Power apps, power okay. automate, power virtual agent, power pages. I have the page in the evening, 7.30 p.m. by Indrajit Singh. So that's the duration again, four months, four to four and a half months it will take. And that will be open for the uh, uh, like uh, self-paced learning also? Or like yeah, only... Yes, uh, but... Um, we have that course also as a self-paced race, yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. That is a power platform developer, actually. So you are going to learn there again, Power Bay, very basics, so hardly one 10 day sessions. Power apps mainly, Power Automate mainly. And after that, Power Virtual Agent and Power Pages. Some concepts of integration of SharePoint and Dynamic 365 also we are going to be covered there. Yeah, that is like, that is, uh, I want to learn yes. along with this. Yes, yes. It's evening 7.30 session is going on. That batch also started yesterday only. You can see in our yeah. channel that uh, your video also uploaded. So, yes, you can observe but that. And, due yeah. to my clash with the meeting timing, so I'm not able to join the online. So, that's okay. why I'm asking. Like, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, in future, maybe we are planning like in the next month, the morning session also, morning around 7.30. Power yeah, platform means a part well. parallel is suppose if I have to learn because I'll join this batch and if I want mm -hmm. to I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll prep so those you can go with the self paced with in that case recorded lectures you can hmm? sure Mahesh yeah thank you so, any questions guys hope uh, we will meet tomorrow then yeah if any questions or something you can approach my team or else you can call to me as well okay thank you guys.